All right, so oh, sorry, I'm gonna, I keep forgetting to take this off. Um, so my professor just gave us a break, right? And my previous video was my 14th video of the day. So she was like, well, we're gonna take a break for 10 minutes. It is 104, um, so uh, you guys be back here at 114. You know, <laughs> I'm just like, it's amazing to see how the technology works, right? And, and you know, pe they all try to convince people that this is, you know, supernatural or spiritual, again, in, in what um, uh, Robert J. Lipton calls, um, you know, uh, spirit spiritual manipulation, right? Because, again, it's technology at work here. And the professor probably doesn't even know that, you know, that whole idea to take a break, okay, because class is over at 2 o'clock. Okay, at this time, right, that that was introduced into her mind by the technology. Okay, and again, and and you know, when religious, you see, the one thing that they use against religious people is their ignorance and their indoctrination into religion, into the belief of the supernatural and the spiritual and stuff like that, right? Um, and particularly, uh, you know, within the, the Christian doctrine. Okay, now he had a he had a he had a um, fire trucks. It was this. Yeah, he had a fire trucks. Okay. All right. So, because I want you guys to understand, right, what they're doing and how you've been, uh, particularly the perps, how you've been deceived and manipulated. Okay. And then because of your ignorance, because of our ignorance, is the reason why they can rope us into these destructive cults right not to say that i'm a ti being in the script i'm talking about in general right and how they can rope us into these things and they, they can use many different factors they can use like they like to use public safety right they use, they'll use public safety national security uh, uh or what have you you know in order to instill fear in the minds of the of the, of the population and how do they do that they create uh, different things, different personalities, different situations within people, um, and get them to carry out, uh, you know, uh, uh, acts of violence, right? And then they say, okay, we need to pass legislation. We need to watch such people. We need to do this and that and that. Understand it is, it is they have developed different ways in which they can stifle any sort of critical thinking, any sort of um, uh, uh, of uh, educated society. Because you know, an educated society is not a fearful society. Okay, it's only uh, an uneducated society and a dumbed-down society that is a fearful society, and that fear is created by those that that rule. Okay, because they have no fear. See, they love to ha they they recruit you based on your religion and do the things that they're doing, opposite of what the, your your religion says that they should do. Okay. So understand that, or to do exactly what their religion said uh, they should do, but make you do the opposite. Okay. So again, understanding their mindset is key. All right. Understanding their mindset is key. You know. So again, just wanted to show how it is that they do these things. You know that. That try to mystical manipulation stuff like that. They do to us as TIs. Like for, I'll give you an example. For example, if you um, let's say to the remote neural monitoring, like I, like I used to show with my, with you know, the amount of money I had in my wallet. So uh, if I go to the store, okay, and I had, uh, let's say if I have, um, you know, let's say if I have 40, 40 something that was for gifts yeah, with number 44 dollars in my wallet okay and i go to the store let's say i, I walk with a cart i put my i have to give the the one well, the guy at the grocery store my card so he can put it to the side he'll give me a um you know, like a like a little card or something like that with the number on it it'll say number 44 right when I go pay for my groceries, right? My groceries will add up to let's say uh, um, twenty-two forty-four. 
Okay, and you're like, when you, when you explain this as a TI, you're like, whoa, what the hell? What, what's going on here? What What is going on here? Okay? And you're thinking that, holy shit, this must be some supernatural thing. No, it is not. It is manipulation. The manipulation of your mind, uh, the people mind, that where you're going to worship. Because again, they have, they have to stay at least 10 steps ahead of you. Okay? So when they put these things in, in your mind, understand this through the use of technology, silence on spectrum. Right, when you go to the grocery store, you know because again you're being surveilled and, and manipulated twenty four seven. It's all manipulation. Okay, but they have people believing that it's not. And like I tell people all the time, do you think you have free choice, uh, or do you think you have free will? And and the choices that you make is of your own mind. It may be of your is of your own mind, but the thoughts put in there isn't of your own mind. Right. So, how do you control a population that made them believe that they have freedom? And the answer is through these technologies. And these are invisible technologies that can program the mind. Okay? So, we must understand that. And because, you know, a lot of people, particularly Baptist America, the most religious, that, uh, them knowing this, okay, because the CIA have, trust me, they, they are, they are expert in terms of the human behavior, behavioral societies, particularly when they shape uh, society to behave the way it wants them to. So we have to understand these things. There's nothing supernatural or spiritual. It is a manipulation. Okay, it's called mystic, mystical manipulation. Just go look up Robert J. Lipton, Eight Criteria Thought Reform, and you'll understand.